Positive Day Delivers. This is Dr. DDD Sunga from Wag and Gains Project. Magandang umaga sa lahat ng delivers natin. And this is the first time kung naman panood sa YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Please subscribe. Click na po yan, Dr. DDD Sunga. Alright, so, paano nga ba tayo magkaroon ng bagong buhay after ng COVID-19? Okay? So, I think para magkaroon tayo ng new life. Magkaroon tayo ng new mindset. Okay? So, let us reprogram our mind so that we can have a new life after the crisis. And that's the process, okay? So, this morning, I'm going to present one, two, three, three procedures. Three simple steps on how to reframe your mind so that you can have a new life. Alright? So, again, mag-coffee tayo. <laughs> Ang natira sa buhay natin, nakasama natin ngayon is coffee. Yeah, so mag-coffee tayo mga universe. Alright, so, ito yung mga simple steps na kaya-kaya natin. So, you don't need to uh, make it hard. You don't need to complicate things, okay? So, sa buhay, dapat sinisimplihan lang natin eh. If there is something, uh, someone that complicates your life, alisin natin, okay? So, para yung buhay natin, sumimpli na lang, okay? So, mahaba ito kanina. So, it took me one hour. Ito yung pinakamatagal actually na pinrepare kong vlog, okay? Pinakamatagal siya. Nagpiprepare ako. Actually, sometimes wala akong preparation, to be honest with you. So, pag meron ako nakita yung isang word, madali ko na siyang gawa ng uh, content. Okay? Mga few minutes lang. Pero ngayon kanina, uh, it took me almost one hour para mabuo ng concept na to. So, kasi it's, ano siya, parang may technical lang konti. Okay? So, I need, uh, I had some research. So, nagbasa muna tayo. I just want to make sure na yung content natin talaga ang ano, makakatulong sa ating lahat. Okay? So, it's reprogramming your mind. Reprogram your mind, alright? So, paano ba natin i-reprogram ang ating uh, isipan, okay? So, kasi ang dulo natin is new life, okay? So, begin with the end in mind nga, diba? Sabi ni Stephen Covey, the seven habits of highly effective people. First habit is begin with the end in mind. So, tingnan na natin ang buhay natin na bago na siya. So, na libre lockdown, wala na lahat yan. So, may konti na lang na inaayos. So, eto na tayo. Lalabas na tayo sa mundo again, okay? So, meron tayong bagong buhay. Okay, pero bago mangyari yan, it's in, there are different steps, procedures. So, the first one is, try to have your dopamine, okay? So, ito ang focus natin ngayon, ang dopamine. It's, uh, hindi ko siya new term, ha? Matalas ko na siya sinasabi sa inyo ang dopamine, okay? Ito po ay dinidiscuss ko sa... Pisa lang natin, ha? Uh, <laughs> yan, so para mas kita nyo. Uh, ang dopamine po ay this topic hindi discuss ko sa, sa lahat ng mga yung mga schools na nag-invite uh, sa atin as a speaker stress management uh, how to have a happy life how to become a happy teacher happy employee so dahil kasama si dopamine so bigyan ko lang kayo ng konting background do ano ba yung dopamine okay ito po ang dopamine first it is produced by dopamine neurons sa brain natin okay so it's a substance being produced Okay, pinuproduce po siya. Okay? So, pwedeng mababa ang level niya, pwedeng mataas ang level niya. Kaya dapat yung dopamine mo in your brain is always balanced. Kasi pag kumulang ka, meron siyang negative effect. Pag sumobra ka, meron din na siyang negative effect. So, it's a balance. Okay? So, that's first. It is a substance produced by dopamine neurons. Okay? Na dapat balance eh, na nagaganap sa brain natin. Okay? So, Alright, so second, bakit kailangan siya ng tao? Ba't kailangan natin siya? Doc, bakit ayan ang first step? Parang ma-reprogram mo yung mind mo para magkaroon ka ng new life. Okay? Because dopamine, number one, is associated with happiness. Alright? It is associated with positive thinking. It is associated of having good relationship with other people. Alright? So that's why we need dopamine. It is associated with our next step. Pero mamaya natin bigkasin, okay? So, that's first. It's, we need it to be happy. And as a human being, it's, sabi ko nga, isa sa mga goals natin sa buhay, kailangan magkaroon tayo ng happiness. Isa yan sa nalilimutan nating responsibility mo sa sarili mo. Yung pasayain ng sarili mo. Okay? And one of the sources of that is having dopamine, okay? Alright, so, So, the next question is, Doc, paano ba uh, nagkakaroon ng dopamine? Okay? So, saan natin nakukuha yung dopamine natin? So, ito na. So, ito na yung source natin. Okay? So, linawin natin. The first step is, dapat balance ang dopamine sa brain mo. Okay? Sa buhay mo. Okay? So, ano ba yung mga sources natin? Kasi, o bago yan, we need dopamine because, yun nga, 
So, to set our goals, to focus on our goals, okay? So, dapat meron tayong attention, okay? So, mamaya, discuss natin. Dito muna tayo sa sources, okay? Source of dopamine, ng happiness sa buhay natin, okay? So, it's just as simple as, paano tayo maging masaya? Yun lang, nilagyan lang natin ng logic, okay? The reason, the why, alright? So, number one, we need food, of course. Rich in tyrosine. So, doon ka naman yung tyrosine. So, simplihan na lang natin. So, we need banana, almonds, avocados, eggs. So, yan dapat meron tayo everyday sa meal natin. Di ba kaya nga, after pagkaguluan ng alcohol, pinagkaguluan naman ngayon ang banana. Kasi nga, it releases dopamine sa brain natin that makes us happy. And when you're happy, nagiging positive ang buhay mo. Di ba, nagiging magahan ang buhay. Masaya ka. Di ba? Okay, so second, exercise. Alright? So, dapat meron tayong routine na exercise because it produces new brain cells and slow down the aging of our brain cells. Yan ang advantage ng exercise. So, in any form na makagalaw ka, walking, express, kanina, walking natin. Ngayon, nag-reduce tayo. Dati, 1 hour, 45 minutes. Ngayon, alam nyo, 30 minutes na yung walking nito. Medyo hindi na kinakaya ng heart. Uh, I need a check-up actually. Kaya lang, ayaw natin sumabay. Baka mamaya, laging maging worse yung yung situation, di ba? Yung condition nito. Okay, so anyway, so just have a routine, okay? Morning, afternoon, nag-exercise ako. So, okay, then you can have it. So, simple exercise. Uh, meron niya mga exercise kay sa YouTube channel ni Sir Michael Hingpit. Ayan, so, <laughs> pakisearch na lang. So, free exercise, alright? So, third, you need, um, yeah so, you need to meditate. You need to meditate. So, you meditate kasi, I check the meaning of meditate. It's uh, deep thinking and reflection. It's your time for yourself alone. Okay? So, mag-devote tayo siguro sa morning. Meron tayong, di ba, pagtayod natin, mag-meditate na tayo. So, think deeper, relax, okay? Reflect on what you're going to do and sa lahat ng mga blessings na binibigay ng Lord, sa lahat ng mga meron pa rin tayo nagkira sa buhay. It's, it's meditation, okay? So, relaxing and deep thinking, okay, and reflecting also releases dopamine, alright? Next, yan, massage. So, after nito, pwede tayong magkaroon ng massage. Di ba maraming tao nagpapamassage every week? Di ba? Walang masama dyan. So, pagka, alam mo, stress na stress na rin ako <laughs> before. Sa dami ng mga, ano natin, commitments. So, na-advise sa mga friends ko, Dok, magpamassage ka muna, okay? So, kasi nare-relax ang katawan mo. Pag nare-relax ang katawan mo, nag-release ulit siya ng dopamine, okay? Alright, so, and, pag, eto, uh, na-research ko hanina, Pag nagpamasads ka pala, it decreases cortisol hormone. Cortisol hormone. Ang cortisol hormone, ito po yung stress hormone. Binabawasan yung stress hormone natin. Okay? Pinapalitan ng happy hormone. And that's dopamine. Okay? Alright. Next. Number five na source of dopamine natin is listen to music. Because when you're listening to music, it increases our pleasure. Pleasure kasi yan eh. So, uh, nare-relax tayo, naring tayo ng bago, para, uh, na-inspire tayo, nare-reduce yung stress natin, nagiging positive ang mood natin, di ba? Kaya nga bang naglilinis, di ba? Naglalaba, nagluluto kayo ngayon, nag-garden. So, may music. That's, it increases your positive mood. Kaya pa mga tao, pag sinimula na may music, uh, nag-meditate, tapos may music, may mga gospel song, di ba? Okay na, okay na sila. The whole day, masaya na. Okay? Next, enough sleep. Yan. Uh, it's a source of dopamine also, yung tamang sleep. Kaya nga, di ba nawawala na tayo sa sarili natin pag panay puyat eh. Di ba? Napanood nyo ba yung money heist, di ba? So, ilang hours in the night, tulog nila, 4 hours in 3 days, 4 days, something like that. So, well, ano na naman, na-stress na sila eh. Di ba? And supplements, may mga supplements. Kasi ito, nabasa ko to sa uh, Brain MD yan. So, sa article Brain MD, may mga supplements. So, i-type nyo lang po, Brain MD. Meron silang article na ganito. Then, meron mga vitamin supplements. So, you can buy sa kanila. Okay? Then, next, last, ito. Personal recommendation ko to be happy. To have enough uh, dopamine. So, you should have your... Yun nga, binagit ko kanina. Mag-garden tayo. Mag-tiktok. Pwede ang tiktok. Kasi it makes you happy. It makes you excited. Diba? Visit your cell phone. Basta balance lang. Diba? So, you talk to a friend. So, have happy dinner with your family. May conversation. You watch good movies. Good series. So, wag lang maghapon, di ba? So, that's your dopamine, okay? So, yun na yung anon, makakapagpasaya sa atin, alright? So, that's step one. Don't worry, may ikli na lang itong dalawa. That's dopamine. 
in love break ko lang, okay? Gusto ko lang maintindihan yung first step. Kasi minsan lagi natin sinasabi, first step to have a good life is be happy. Pero paano ka ba may masaya? Di ba? So, find your source of happiness right now. Sa mga sinabi ko sa inyo, alin dyan yung uh, doable, okay? Na kaya mong gawin to have enough uh, dopamine sa brain mo. Okay? So that you can do the second step. The second step is pag may your goals. You need to focus on your goals. So, dahil masaya ka na, may enough dopamine na sa brain mo, makapag-focus ka na and it will, you can give attention to your goals. So, it's time for you now to write your goals. Sabi ko nga lagi, write your goals. Alam nyo, may Manila paper dyan kagabi. Sinunod ko yan kasi meron tayong mga projects. By the way, available na yung e-book natin, uh, 33 Ways to be Successful. Uh, may e-course na rin tayo, uh, How to Start Your Scalable Business and the Biblical Principles on Outlook Come Rates and How to Become the Next Actor and Speaker. So, lahat yan, naging goal ko yan ngayong, yung dalawa, goal ko ngayong COVID-19 and it happened. So, you just have to write your goals. Anong goals mo ngayon? Diba? Baguhin ang negosyo mo, mag-start ng investment, makapag-travel ka pa rin. Diba? O ngayon, short-term goal mo, maayos yung garden mo, diba? Maayos yung bahay mo, i-rearrange mo yung room mo, diba? Have right connections with your clients and everything. Just write your goal. Still write your goal, short-term and long-term. During this crisis and after the crisis, you can write your goal. And third, alright, so, eto na. You are now ready. Para maging ready ka sa crisis. Meron ka ng energy. Okay, sumaya ka. May attention ka, may focus, and now you have your energy, right? You have your energy, you are motivated, you are a new person now, and you are ready to face the world again. Alright? So, if you need further help, yeah, with regards to this, to reprogram your mind, to have a new life, message ka na sa akin. So, start your dopamine, then focus and attention to your goals, and you're, you are ready. So, I mean, yung mindset na ready ka, sasabihin mo sa... Sa labas, I am ready. This is a new me after the crisis. Alright? Okay, so please share this video sa lahat ng mga ibigyan natin. Kahit OFW o dito sa Pilipinas para sama-sama tayong mabago tumula dating buhay. Thank you very much, Delivers. Enjoy the rest of the day. Yan. Let's go, let's go.